Today we're going to talk about an interesting article I found. It was written two years ago, and it talks about the metaverse and metaspaces being the third place. And he defines the third place as, he talks about the rise of Starbucks in the 90s. I argue for rise of like malls and whatnot, but he says it's a place where, where it's not just about the coffee, say in a coffee shop, but it's about a place to just exist that's not work and it's not home. It fills the time between appointments, it's the same for a date or casual job interview, it's technically public, but isolated enough that we can let our guard down. These first places are where the return of the millennial American culture thrived. Now I argue that for malls and like my previous and my other video about um nostalgia, hanging out for mall is a third place. It's a hangout, it's not home, it's not work. Some of us it is work, but it was work and a place as well, you know. Maybe you could say a second home, be a mall rat. And um, he talks about back um, a couple of years ago, Zoom, Zoom fatigue. You're sitting and watching squares all day, staring at a grid. In my case, I never see anybody really on camera, but you're just staring at a grid. Uh, is that what you're going to do for the future? That's why I'm arguing about virtual workspaces, virtual offices, nostalgia, other things. And he goes on and talks about different apps. And some of the numbers I've read over articles are actually quite questionable now or debatable, um, but I don't know much to get into. He talks about a lot of things like Fortnite, gaming at Fortnite, and it's a popular, prominent for place in gaming. Because like a lot of games, it's not just games, but there's social spaces as well. And you spend many hours, and in there you go to concerts, you see commercials of avatars dancing and whatnot, go-karts racing and just hanging out. And Fortnite concerts when growing and so forth. And um, there are other famous platforms of course concerts as well. And it goes until recently it sounds insane to non-gamers. Why would you go on a virtual island where you can just watch on the TV? I'm watching a TV of a TV. You know sometimes there's a screen, sometimes it's real. It's kind of funny but you see if the if, uh, um, possibilities are endless. So it's not just hanging out, it's interaction. You need to do something. You just don't stare at each other. That's what he goes on about. And basically his point, I think, is this underlined right here. Games don't detract from socializing. They enrich it. And I find it sad that we don't actually... We go through all the platforms and he admits Second Life, which has benefited immensely. Because during the period he wrote this, they actually ran out of land. And as I said before, and like I said before, if you put all the landmass together, private states, the continents, it's bigger than an actual American city. <laughs> and um, imagine it, they ran out of land. So he talks about the usual, you know, Stevenson talking about the metaverse, share virtual space, platform encompasses everything connected together, same way the internet connects to sites and apps. And you know, that's what's missing. But at the same time, it's not, because we're talking about the internet is connecting the 3D spaces. So it's just another, in the old days you had your text space, you know, use nets, news groups, e emails and whatnot. And then it became visual back when they started coming out of, you know, Netscape and AOL and whatnot. So everything keeps going through. It's called the internet of things now, because everything goes through the internet now. So it's not just your text, it's not just your newspapers, it's not your emails, it's not your songs and movies now you're watching. Now I'm at your home, you have these expensive mesh um, Wi-Fi systems to pump in your internet because it goes for your, internet, your TV, your refrigerator is connected, my uh, vacuum is connected, mops, uh, stoves, washers, jars, internet things. So everything's free. So it's not the fact that for Metaverse, like we were originally thinking it's going to be a new system, it's embedded in the old system because it just conjures the data. Remember, internet used to go through its own private lines and phone lines, now it's going for cable, and uh, thank God it's going for satellites now, so we don't have to worry about that pretty soon. So, the behind the scenes is all pretty much the same, it's just a different protocol. But a network, I'm going to argue here, a network is a network. 
So we're not talking about one platform, you know, Decentraland or Second Life or Fortnite even, or Minecraft and Roblox as we have here, have three different things as being um, the platform and everyone builds around it. Um, I understand Second Life tried that when they had Open Grid, Open Sim, Open Word, I forget what it was, in words when it had um, their platform was open source, but I don't even know if that's important anymore. Um, there's an issue where if I'm on one system and I have my stuff, my avatar, and someone joins another system, there's a cross issue, and I'm not sure, that's not the need to solve at this point, but let's just keep talking about the third space, and let's see, and he talks about platforms like these three still incubating, they're too small, they're too, too game-like. I agree, because I thought these were games, all three of them. Metaverse would be a platform of order of magnitude of the internet itself. What we have here is more like specialized applications of GoFundMe and use. That's why I was just talking about that before the web was invented. The Protoverse is missing a few ingredients before they have the Big Bang moment. So, I don't know. I think we basically we, we have a framework. I think what he's talking about is a wider adoption and possibly cross-pollination. And I get that, but there might be, there's probably ways around it. It's not for me, but let's go see our third spaces. So here I'm in an office. I got my cubicles and whatnot, and I'm in some city, and we got a road outside. And so we have our, our first, um, we're at work, but we're not really at work, right? I'm in a government building. I'm well, not really in a government building, right? Oh, look, there's a water fountain. You see, that's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, you get things from, like, super photorealistic to not. So, like, you see, this is a very odd... This water fountain is a very odd trick. It's just a box, and you put a picture on all six sides. Only four are shown here, so you don't have to worry about that. And it's the same one that repeats, and the one up top. You don't have to be a 3D modeler. You just find any, this is the amount of chintzy textures in the universe that you can just paste on a, a, a side of a frame is infinite. Or you can hire a 3D model, or you can buy the model, you know. And I'm going out town. I wonder, what is a third space? And maybe thinking of a coffee shop is kind of limited, because in a word it's limiting. But if you're from a city or whatever, isn't the city your space? And, especially if I'm virtual, is anybody going to get me for trespassing? And, it's so immersive that you start losing yourself in it. And, I have an online restaurant. And, I mean, yeah, I guess it's silly, but, are you going to burn out? texting and misunderstanding, not even like paying attention to people, but can hang out virtually and dress up. There are places online I know that people come almost every single day to a certain cafe and a certain sim, and they hang out like they would any other time. You know, you get home, you're tired, you got one hour, whatnot, and they dress in period pieces, and, you know, it's interesting. It's, uh, I can chat with you in front, I can stare at you on the screen falling asleep, or, you know, we could just... And it's just a cool, I have to sound too nerdy, I guess, but it's just a really cool atmosphere for self-expression. And the choices are infinite. I want to limit myself to a city. Maybe I can, we can hang out and, um, Random places. That'd be fascinated by the Texas desert. Maybe your surroundings can change your mood. What if an ultimate third place? The mall. What, do I even have to hang out in the United States? I have uh, any country you can think of, any time period, any world.
So we're not talking about replacing anything. We're just talking about adoption. And if the infrastructure is already there. And to me, it sure looks like it is. You just have to choose to do it. You just have to find which one we're about. Just looking at who's number one in there user entry and if you have any topics or any place you want me to take a look at let me know have a good day